I'm saying if you study the Quran, which is the sacred document of Islam, and every other document, whether it's the Hadith, the Sunnah, and so on, is subordinate to the Quran. And Muslims use the Quran as a measuring rod to judge whether the sayings of Muhammad, the Hadith, and the biography of Muhammad, the Sunnah, they measure that against the Quran. And if any biography disagrees with the Quran, Muslims will throw it out the way. In fact, there are, I don't want to go into this, it's a very complicated area, but there are thousands of hadith, but many of them, Muslims correctly, they're very discerning in this, that they, they want to know, is this, the hadith essentially is this, the reported sayings of Muhammad. And in fact, when it comes to the hadith, there actually has to be contained in it a, an exact um, detail attached to it of who said it first and the chain of tradition of the last person who said it. They make sure that every single person in this chain was contemporaneous with each other. They lived in the same time. They lived in the same place. So that the, there's actually roughly, there, now there are different schools of thought on Islam on this point. I don't want to go forever on this. So there actually is, this is not monolithic, there is different, but there are fundam very critical, rigorous methodology in Islam to be sure that is this hadith reliable? Is it not reliable? If it disagrees with the Quran, out. If it if it's a questionable source, well, and Muslim scholars will tell you off the bat, I mean, people who know, 